What's going on guys, FM here, and today we are looking at Snowy Cast Form in the Retro Cup. Now, if you've been around this channel for a while, you know I love Snowy Cast Form. However, a few seasons ago, Alone in Ninetales got access to Weather Ball and it started to outshine Snowy Cast Form. With Alone in Ninetales banned in the Retro Cup, it's time for Snowy Cast Form to shine again and it's absolutely wrecking. With all the dragons out there, it is just annihilating. It beats most of the psychics. It beats basically anything that ice hits for neutral for. Let's be real. It has access to only ice type moves, unfortunately, but it's the combination of Powder Snow, Weather Ball, and Blizzard that really make it so strong. Powder Snow gets energy so quickly, Weather Ball is incredibly spammy and a great bait move, and Blizzard is one of the most hard hitting moves in the game. It is a Focus Blast clone, and you know how hard Focus Blast hits. Blizzard hits just as hard. If you're looking for a team with some off meta picks that will help you climb in the Retro Cup, I highly recommend this team. It's been absolutely insane for me the last couple days. Before we get into the battles, I just wanted to let you know that the best way you can support me is by hitting that like button, and if you're new to the channel, hitting that subscribe button as well. I appreciate it. Looking at the first battle, I have Snowy Castform up against a Kinger lead. This is a pretty neutral lead. We're going to be dealing neutral damage to them. They're going to be dealing neutral damage to me. I'm going to build up and bait the Blizzard here, but they do get to the Octazooka first. Now I'm pretty sure this is just Octazooka, but I do go ahead and use my shield and they get the debuff. That feels bad. Now I'm going to have to swap out because I don't want to waste all that energy. I swap into the Lantern and I go straight for the Thunderbolt. Let's see if they want to shield this or not. They know shield and it takes out the Kingdra. I did not expect it to do that much. That is awesome. Now they bring in a Frost Blast and Frost Blast is not a great answer for Lantern because we are resisting all the ice type attacks and we're going to be able to get to a couple Thunderbolts here. So they do have to shield up that Thunderbolt. If it was a Hydro Pump, it would have just about one shot a Frost Blast. Um, so I don't know if they were counting or not, but either way, we can tank that Shadow Ball and do we make it to another Thunderbolt? We do. Oh my gosh, Lantern is so bulky and that is just amazing. So we're able to land another Thunderbolt and it puts this Frost Blast very, very low. So now I'm going to come in with my Jellicent and try to snipe him. However, they're going to be able to throw one move. I'm expecting it to be a Shadow Ball, so I'm going to go ahead and shoot it. And it was the Shadow Ball and they swap out into a Lowland Graveler. Oh no, Electric types. Okay, I'm going to swap into Snowy Cast Form, go straight for the Blizzard. And yes, they get one shot by Snowy Cast Form. And then Snowy Cast Form is able to farm down this Frost Blast. Snowy Cast Form, you absolute beast. Let's go. Moving into the next matchup, we have Snowy Cast Form up against a Mew lead. This is a pretty good lead for Snowy Cast Form depending on what the Mew is running. They swap out into a Primeape and I'm a little bit slow on my swap, so they're going to be able to get to the Night Slash very quickly. It hurts, but no big deal. The counters are resisted and we can go for Shadow Ball. So we'll see if they think this is a Bubble Beam bait or if they're going to eat it. If they eat it, it's going to just about one shot the Primeape. However, they do shield. Great shield on their side. They're throwing another Night Slash here. So I'm shielding and I'm thinking that I can get to another Shadow Ball before they get to another Night Slash. However, since I was slow on the swap, we CMP tie. So I'm going to have to eat this. However, my Jellicent survives with one HP and we're going to be able to throw another Shadow Ball. We'll see if they want to give up their second shield or not. They don't, they go down, that's great. They bring out a Shadow Machamp. So this fight is not won because Lantern charges very slowly and they still have a shield. So we're gonna go straight for the Thunderbolt. However, this Machamp is putting a lot of pressure on us already with the counters, not to mention he's getting energy for the cross drops. So he's going to throw a cross drop here. I cannot use my shield just yet. I need to be able to see if I think I can reach another Thunderbolt. They're throwing another cross drop and I'm very low health at this point. I think I would just get farmed down, so I'm not gonna shield. I'm gonna put it all on Snowy Cast Form. I'm gonna go straight for the Weather Ball. However, they catch on their Mew. Great catch by my opponent. It hurts the Mew, but doesn't do too much. So we're gonna have to play this very strategically. I'm gonna go straight for the next Weather Ball. I know this is not gonna take out the Mew. After this, I'm going to need to be able to farm down and have a Weather Ball ready to go for that Machamp. Now I have to shield whatever they throw here and it's just a Dragon Claw. Dragon Claw is the cheapest move that you can get. Still, they don't get to another one. I have the Weather Ball ready to go, but will this be enough to take out the Shadow Machamp? It's very healthy still. Not quite. One more Powder Snow. Yes, we get the farm down with the Powder Snow. Take out the Machamp. Let's go. GG's. Well played to my opponent. Moving into the next battle, we're up against a Galvantula lead. 
We're going to be able to outpace Galvantula, however, we do have to throw the first weather ball before they get to the lunch so that we're not debuffed. Third guard is shield. Yeah, Galvantula has always shield the first one. No big deal. They want to debuff me before I can actually hit them with anything. Now they're throwing and I can definitely tank a lunge or a discharge. I don't care. I'm going to be able to make it to another weather ball. We'll see if they want to shield this one or let it go. It will do good damage. Yeah, they shield again. So we got both shields off of them and we're going to be able to reach another weather ball before they're able to farm me down. Now they do catch on a Bibero or however you say it. I'm probably saying it wrong. Um, maybe you can let me know in the comments down below how to say it correctly or if I'm saying it right, let me know that too. Either way, I'm going to swap into Lantern and I'm going to build up 100 energy before I throw. I'm going to shield up the Hyper Fang. It wouldn't have taken me out, but I have to use my shields at some point and it definitely would have hurt. So now I can go for the Thunderbolt. I try to undercharge so I can get a little bit more farm, but it still takes out the Pokemon. So we'll see what they want to come in with next. They're going to come in back with the Galvantula. They do have a move ready to go. However, Lantern's bulky enough that it can definitely tank whatever it is. It is the lunch. Now I can build up and go straight for the Hydro Pump. So this will take out the Galvantula. We'll have to see what they have left in the back. They have a Snorlax. Now, normally I would have stayed in since I have a shield and I would be able to reach the Hydro Pump, but I was debuffed, so I decided to go ahead and swap out into my Jellicent. They're going to be hitting me with Body Slams. Body Slams are resisted. It's just the lick damage that's really adding up. Um, this is a pretty bad matchup in the Ultra League. However, it's not too bad in the Great League, especially since I have Ice Beam. Ice Beam is going to be hitting for neutral, and it's only going to take three Ice Beams to take out this Snorlax. So we'll see if I can get to a third one before they lick me down. So we've got two, two in, and they're going to be throwing right here. Now, I do have a shield, but I want to save it for Lantern just in case and I actually survived the body slam either way. So I'm able to make it to the next ice beam and my opponent realizes this is over. I think that they closed their app. Maybe I shouldn't assume that. It could just be lag on the game side, but either way, we're gonna take out this Snorlax and that's gonna be a good game. Well played to my opponent. Moving into the next matchup, we have Castform up against Frostlass. Now Frostlass is going to be the superior ice type here because it has access to Shadow Ball, whereas I can only hit the Frostlass for new, uh, resisted damage. I'm going to swap out into my Lantern. They're going to hit me with the Shadow Ball, but I can tank it, no big deal. And we're going to be building up to the Hydro Pump and going for the Thunderbolt. They catch on their Licky Tongue and they actually decide to give up a shield. I was surprised to see that. Now I'm going to build up and try to go for the Hydro Pump. However, they do throw the Body Slam right before I get there. So great counting on their part. I decided to give up a shield. It's questionable, but I wanted to see how much this Hydro Pump does. Hopefully it's enough that I can spark them down after this. We'll find out. Yeah, it hurts them, but it's definitely not spark down range. So I go ahead and swap out into my snowy cast form and I'm going to eat whatever this licky tongue throws at me. I should be able to over farm by a little bit and then I'm going to go ahead and throw my weather ball. Um, I, I probably should have over farmed by a little bit more, but let's be real. If Frostlass comes back in, I'm going to be hitting for resisted no matter what. So too much energy is not going to matter too much. However, they decide to answer with a Regirock. So Regirock is a hard counter for my Snowy Cast form, but it's going to be taking neutral from all my ice type attacks. So the Weather Ball lands and we are almost able to get them into the yellow when they throw their Stone Edge. So that's definitely going to take out my Snowy Cast form, but I can come in now with my Jellicent and I'm going to have to eat one more Stone Edge. Um, so we'll see how much this does to the Jellicent, but I have to save my shield for that Frostlass in case that Frostlass gets to a Shadow Ball. So I over farm just by a little bit, but I don't want them to get to another Stone Edge. So now I am throwing the Shadow Ball and it lands. Great. Reggie Rock is out of the way. It's just Frostlass left. I try to catch the Shadow Ball. However, they hold on to their energy. That's all right though. I'm going to be able to throw a Thunderbolt here and get their last shield off. Now I just need to land a Shadow Ball with my Jellicent. However, they go for the hard farm down and they're not able to do it. Lantern is just too bulky. Absolutely incredible. I reach another Thunderbolt and that takes out the Frostlass. Let's go. All right, moving into the final battle, we have Cast Form up against Gudra. That's a great lead for me. I'm doing super effective damage with all my ice type of attacks, which is all my attacks, and they're only hitting me for um, neutral. So they're throwing, they threw pretty quick. I know this could not be a Draco Meteor, and Muddy Water or Power Whip are both fine. So I'm building up, and I'm going to go ahead and start throwing my Weather Balls at this point. He shields the first one, I over farm, and I'm going for a second one. This should take out the Gudra if the Gudra decides to no shield. 
they decide to give up another shield and I'm gonna be able to spam out one more weather ball. This is gonna be taking out the Gujira and we'll have to see what they have in the back, but I have two shields on them and I have switch advantage. Let's see, oh, they just back out. I'm guessing it was a triple dragon team, but that secures a 5-0 set for me. So thank you for bringing that Gujar lead. That was awesome. Guys, I have been having so much fun with this team. I have climbed over 300 points in just two days running this team. So like I said, if you're looking for a team to climb with, I recommend it. All right, that's it for today. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like, and if you're new to the channel, subscribe as well. All right, this is Chill SFM reminding you to always keep pushing forward because you are worth it.